Hi everyone. Um, this is the eight, eight. Oh my days. Hi everyone. It's Saf, and this is the millionth time. Um, trying to record this intro for this video. I haven't vlogged in a very long time and I feel like I've forgotten how to do it, but we are here now. Honestly, I've just sat here for the last like five minutes going, hi, hey, hey. Today uh, is raining outside, <laughs> it's awful. Living in the UK at the moment, we've been really hoping for sun, but like there's been none. Yeah, so today I'm like, I'm in my studio and I'm gonna be recording an acoustic version of my cover of Benny's song, Super Lonely. My version is out <laughs> with um, a cover of uh, Miley Cyrus's Midnight Sky. Um, it's like a little EP that I released with Jam Junior and you can go and have a listen now. I hope you like it. Um, I'm not sure if I've got anything else planned for the day um, aside from the music video for Super Lonely going out tonight. So I'm so excited. When you guys see this video, it'll already be out. So make sure you go and watch it. The link will be in the description below for the music video. I really hope you like it. It was a ton of fun to make. So I just hope you like it. It's like a mini 90s, early noughties rom-com. So it was a lot of fun to create. And like, thank you so much to everybody that made it possible. Like, you just made my dreams come true and just adored it. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so my hair doesn't want to go where, it, where I want it to go. Okay, so starting off, I'll go onto Logic on my laptop, on my Mac, and kind of just open up a template. I normally have like a template ready from like a previous cover I've done. On a previous day, I like try and arrange what I want to do with it. For this, I, a couple weeks ago, kind of prepped how I wanted it to sound, um, chords and arrangement wise. I open up like kind of previous session I've done that is similar to what I'm creating today. So for this, it's the love story very sad version project because the piano is how I want this to sound. All the effects on the piano and the tones and EQs and compressors, compressors and things are exactly what I, I'd like. Um, and also vocally as well, all the reverbs and things, all the the EQs for that too. I kind of set that up and then I delete the things that I don't need. I'll then hop on over to the piano and kind of go through the arrangement that I've done. Hello, <laughs> welcome to my piano. time I saw you guys I like obviously worked out that so yeah I set up the logic project I'm gonna start recording yeah okay so hopefully that's recorded in okay so there's one take of that let's go back That should be enough. So once I've kind of done that, um, I will then kind of put it in the effects channel. See, that's got way too much reverb on it. I kind of want to like dim it down as well. I don't want it to be like too harsh. I want it to kind of, I don't want it to ring. I want it to be gentle. So I almost want to take the reverb off. Maybe I take it into a different EQ because you have on like Logic and stuff, you have different uh, kind of templates for EQs and things. And they have some really nice ones actually. Like I found some really, really nice ones. So like Vintage Keys is kind of pretty. Um, so I just kind of play around with that and just see, see what sounds nice and see what fits. There's just something not quite right about it. I'm kind of make it sound really pretty. <laughs> Okay. I don't think I'll keep the pulsing going. I think I'll just go. 
yeah, something like that. Let's do this. That bit's done. That was a fairly quick thing to do. Okay, hi. So it's been probably about 40 minutes. I think it's been about 40 minutes. And during that 40 minutes, I decided, <laughs> well, I decided at the beginning of the 40 minutes um, to stop recording because otherwise you just see me playing piano for 40 minutes. So I've just recorded like all of the pieces um, piano wise. Now I'm just gonna kind of listen through and I've got this like cool little piano-y thing and I will find if there's kind of places that maybe need like highlight bits and when I say like highlight bits I mean like strings. But I don't know if it needs it. I'm kind of worried that I'll just be overdoing it. So I feel like it's something I'll decide when I actually get to the kind of vocal recording, which I won't be doing today because it's getting kind of late and I've got the premiere tonight for the video. So I, I want to make sure like I'm ready for that. Very happy with how it's sounding at the moment. I'm just like happy that it's kind of get, got to a place now that feels easy to record to and stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what I've done. Yeah, I should probably take my glasses off, but I can't actually see. And I've also found some really nice chord progressions that I'm gonna use for writing too. Yeah, I will probably come back and record vocals. And when I record vocals, I record them into my mic, which is good. I'll record that um, again, kind of in takes, um, arranging as I go. And then usually I just do a full take just of the vocals. I'll just record one take and then use that. I'll kind of go through it in pieces to make sure I know kind of what melodies and riffs and things I'm doing with it and then just record it one go and sometimes I just go in and I just go one take so like love story I just I was in such an emotional place with the song I just went one take and that's that's what it is. It does definitely depend on kind of the song that I'm doing but most of the time I just try and do just one take and just go with that. Mm. The other day I asked you guys for like questions and things and I filmed a video in my room doing them and I just, I watched it back. I was like, why am I so awkward? So let's try again. <laughs> Which are your go-to songs when you're extremely sad and happy? P.S. Love you. I love you too. Sad, um, I, I think it's like What a Wonderful World, but not the um, Louis, I, as much as I love the Louis Armstrong version of that song, it's the Phil Wickham version that really just sets my tears off. And then my happy song currently is More Than A Woman by the Bee Gees or anything by ABBA. And then like You Belong With Me, Taylor Swift, like Taylor Swift tunes. Yeah, but like motivational songs at the moment, like Black Hole by Griff, the new one Brutal by Olivia Rodrigo that came out today. I've also been listening to the Cinderella Story album. Um, do you remember that film with like Hilary Duff and stuff? Duff and stuff takes me back to like my childhood. I used to watch that and Enchanted every single day. My poor mum. How has the process of recording your own original music been? Um, I'd love to know all the details. It's been a load of fun. I just, I really wish I could show you guys now. Um, it's just a bit of chaos at the moment, but you will get to hear it, I promise. I also think I'm really protective over my music too, and I just, I really, I just hope you like it. And I think it's just really scary um, releasing my own music and not knowing if you guys are gonna like it or not, so. It's been great, I've been really lucky. I've been able to work with some amazing producers on it and I've been really lucky that everyone around me has been so supportive of it as well. My dream obviously has always been to be just an artist and release just my own music and sing my words and how I'm, how I'm actually feeling because you can never put your full heart and soul into someone else's words because it's someone else's story. So I just, um, I'm having the time of my life doing it so I just I just want to wait for the right moment to show you guys and also make sure it's obviously the best it can be. Do you still watch really old videos from your channel at times? We were watching these the other day. There's like a ton and they're so funny. I just, I feel like um, watching those just gives me so much happiness. Only ones that are like a few 
you, like a good few years old are the ones I would watch in my spare time. Like ones from when I was like 12 and the ones I'd film with Sky and stuff like the vlogs. How do you do your iced coffee at home? We want a tutorial. I love you. Oh, I love you too. My iced coffee. So I get like a jug like that. They're like jars. Um, you know, like the Emma Chamberlain coffee ones, like the jars. I have a jar and I fill that with ice. And then in a separate container, I put sh two shots of coffee in a separate container because my jar doesn't fit in my coffee machine. Two shots of coffee and, some, and like a quarter of ice in this jar. Then I pour the, the coffee into the jar and then two pumps of vanilla syrup. And then I just fill the rest with just oat milk. Give it a little stir with the straw when it's in there, my metal straw. Who do you prefer, Fred or George Weasley? But in all honesty, I just want to date them both. Not at the same time, but I'd like to date them both. <laughs> it's a really hard question, actually. I just, I just like them both very equally. What's the place you want to visit most? Warner Brothers studio tour in London, the Harry Potter thing. I just, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, so. I cannot wait to go back. It's just like the, the, the dream situation. I'm literally like saving my money so that when I go, I can buy loads of merchandise and loads of wands and add to my connection. Collect connection? No, collection. I want to get a Crookshanks as well, the cat. Cat. <laughs> but outside of that, I'd love to go back to Paris. Just, I love it. What book are you currently reading? I'm currently reading um, Petals on the Wind um, by Virginia Andrews. It's part of the Flowers in the Attic series and it is amazing i'm literally completely hooked it's so good but i'm also reading a book called the deep which is about the ocean but i'm kind of reading one chapter at a time with that because the chapters are so long i just want to make sure i take it all in um because i recently watched sea spiracy yeah watch sea spiracy if like please how are you Really? I'm actually really good. I'm very, very tired because Ruka has woken us up multiple times. Very, very early in the morning. I'm really, really well. Hi, um, it's been like an hour. The Super Lunar music video is literally gonna go out in 45 minutes. So I'm joining the premiere in 15 minutes. So I'm really excited. I'm literally like beyond excited for everybody to see this because I feel like just my dream is to live in a different era. I just really want to live in the 90s. I just, I want to be best friends with 90s Winona Ryder. But yeah, I'm just waiting for the video to go out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love you all so much. You guys are just the best and I just feel very, very lucky. Woo! Hello, you. Whoa. <laughs> ah, oh, it, chip, 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 chip. Oh, it's gonna be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get 